Umos Mumias, and he was talking about the sugar cartels. And he says, you know, at the end of the day, he says, Mambo ni Matatu. Jela, Muhammad, Au, Mwende Binguni. Surely you must have a role to play in the first one, which is Jela. I think, first of all, we need to look at what the president said. Forget about the Mambo Matatu, but the president was showing the frustration of Kenyans in the key industries in this country. If you look at the sugar industry, it's full of cartels. If you look at the coffee industry, it's full of cartel. If you look at the tea industry, it's full of cartel. We had another industry from my home county, Kilifi, Kashunat. Mm -hmm. That one died because of cartels and corruption. So the sentiments made by the president is just, he was just trying to show the magnitude of the rot in those sectors. And they're causing a lot of havoc to the people. Because if you look at uh, the Western Sugar Belt, Muhoreni, Chemelili, if you look at Mumias, Nzoia, all those sugar factories, they are down on their knees. And sugar is rotting in the field. Sugar is rotting. Let me give you a good example of a country that has got a very well-established sugar industry. And it's a very small country, but it produces a lot of sugar because of proper management and because of accountability. And this is what the president was talking about, Mauritius. Mm -hmm. Mauritius is a very small island, but it has very successful sugar industry. Sugar industry in this country has gone down, not because of uh, other reasons. It's corruption, cartels, and mismanagement. And the president is trying to wipe out that problem. Because farmers went and said, you cannot privatize these uh, industries. Because these industries, even under the hand of the government, this industry will make profit. Are we together? Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, coffee, tea, the deputy president, he is trying to fight those cartels. It's all about corruption. And uh, many organizations in this country, they are not doing well, not because they're not doing well because of bad business. It's about corruption. Why should Kenya Power be having financial problems when it has monopoly of distributing electricity? That's the question. Why? Why, why should we have, uh, although this is not a public entity, why should Kenya always make losses? When you fly, all other airlines coming to Nairobi, they are full. Mm -hmm. If it is British Airways, Emirates, Qatar Airlines, Ethiopian, Nairobi route is always full. Why should it be making uh, losses? If you look at that, most of the time, it's about accountability and management. Yeah. And this is the problem we have in this country. When we recruit people, we just look at two aspects. We look at education and skills. In Japan and the Orientals, when they want to give you responsibility, the priority number one is look at integrity. My father was semi-illiterate, but he started a small duka. By the time he died, he had a three-story building. He didn't build it using loan. He used to take soft loan from the hardware suppliers, and he will build and pay slowly out of trust. This is something Bishop Oginde was talking about yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But today, you have a head of a state corporation. He has even a PhD, but the guy runs down there. The, 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 the entity, yeah. because he's not honest. And this is where we go. When we, we recruit people, we have to look at education, skills, and two main attributes, behavioral pattern and your background. You, get, you, you bring somebody to head a state corporation. This guy is a natural thief. From schools, he used to steal geometry set, <laughs> uh, sports shoes, everything. It is in the blood. So when he's stealing, he doesn't even know that he's stealing. He believes that he's taking something that belongs to him. Now you find state cooperation come down. And that's why you find some state cooperation in this country, when a certain guy comes in, it thrives. And then you're told, when this CEO left, this is the other CEO who messed up. I'll give you a good example of a company that I worked with, Kenjen. Kenjen is one of the biggest state cooperation in this country. It has no issues, because they get the right people there right and competent people. 
and there's no interference. Also, the other thing is other attributes. Are you a coward? 